Okay. Yeah. You tell me what to order. I'll order it. Model SP 100D. Okay. Jamie, that's write the, it down. That's the car that I drive. Okay. Okay, I'll get with the car you drive. Okay. It will blow your mind How out of your skull. How far can I drive? I believe you. How yeah. far can I drive? How far About can 300 I miles. That's good. For LA regular days, that's You will good. never notice the battery. Never. Never. How hard is it to get like one of them crazy plugs installed in your house? That difficult? No, it's it's super easy. It's like yeah, didn't it's you, like a dryer plug. It's like a dryer outlet. Didn't you, know? you come up with some crazy tiles for your roof that are solar paneled? Yeah, yeah, we're I have it on my roof right now. Actually, I'm just trying it out. It's like it. The thing is, it takes a while to like test roof stuff because roofs have to last a long time. Right. So like you, you want your roof roof to last like at could least it, could thirty you put years. It over and, a regular roof. Now, th so there's two versions. There's like the solar panels you put on a roof. So like depends on whether your roof's new or old. So if your roof's Roof's new. You don't want to replace the roof. You want to put, like, solar panels on the roof. Right. Um, so that's, like, retrofit, you know. And then we're trying to make the retrofit panels look real nice. Um, and then, But then the, the new product we're coming out with is if, if, you, if you have a roof that's either you're building a house or you're going to replace your roof anyway, then you make the, si the tiles uh, so ha have solar, solar cells embedded in the tiles. Um, and then it's quite a tricky thing because you want to not see the solar cell behind the, the, the glass tile. Uh, so you have to really work with the the glass and 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 the and the, the various uh, coatings and layers so that you don't see the solar cell behind the glass. Otherwise, it doesn't look right. Right. So it's really tricky. There it is. Jamie put it up there. Yeah. Damn, that looks good. See, you, is there like, a uh, more... see like if you look closely, you can see if you zoom in like you can see the so you can see the cell. Mm hmm But if you zoom out, you don't see the cell. Right. Well, it looks cool See? though. Like yeah. that's that's hard. Solar that's cells. really hard because you have to have sunlight go through. Right. But when it when the, when it gets reflected back out, it doesn't it, it 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 hides the fact that there's a cell there. Now, are those available to the consumer right now? Yeah, well, we have uh, I think about those on that roof right there. <laughs> yes. That's amazing. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. That one's hard. Oh, so you get that kind of fake Spanish-looking thing. I like That's that. French slate. That's white people in Connecticut smoking pipes. Look at that one. Yeah. <laughs> That's badass, dude. So Those now, will actually work. I believe you. Mm. So the, 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 the solar panels that are on that house that we just looked at, is that sufficient to power the entire home? It depends on your energy, on how efficient. Yeah, yeah. All so... Right. Um, Generally, yes. I would say it's probably for most. It's going to vary, but anywhere from more than you need to uh, maybe half. Like call it half to 1.5 of the energy that you need, depending on how much roof you have relative to living space. And how ridiculous and you are with the TV. TV is no problem. Air conditioning, air conditioning. Air conditioning. Air, air conditioning oh. is, the, is the problem. If you have an efficient air conditioner... And you don't, uh, and depending on how, like, are you air conditioning rooms when they don't need to be air conditioned, which mm. is very common because it's right. a pain in the neck. You know, it's like programming a VCR. It's like, right. you know, it's just the blinking 12. So people just like, the hell with that. I'm just going to make it this temperature all day long. Right. Um, they don't have a smart home where if you're in the room, then it stays cool. Right. Yeah. It should predict when you're going to be home uh, and then cool the room, the rooms that you're likely to use. With a little bit of intelligence, we're not talking about like genius home here. We're just talking like elementary, r basic stuff. Right. Um, you know, like if you could hook that into the car, like it knows you're coming home. Like there's no point mm. cooling the home, right. keeping the home, keeping the home, the home really cool when you're not there. Right. But it can tell that you're coming home. It's going to cool it to the right temperature. Right. Do you when have you an get app there. that works with your solar panels or anything like that? Yeah. Yeah, we do. And but we need to hook it into the air conditioning to really make the air conditioning work. Have you thought about creating an air conditioning system? I know you have. Trick question. <laughs> Cannot answer <laughs> questions about future potential okay, products. Okay, let's just let it go. We'll move on to the next thing. But that would be an interesting idea. <laughs> yeah, I would say. Radiant heating, all that. Good ideas. Now, when you, when you think about the efficiency of these homes and you think about implementing solar power and battery power, and is there anything else that people are missing? Is there any other? Like, I just saw a smartwatch 
that is powered by the heat of the human body. It's some new technology. It's able to fully power that way? I don't know if it's okay. fully or if it's... Like this watch right here, this is a Casio. Okay. Um, it's called a uh, ProTech, and it's in like an outdoors watch, and it's solar powered. Okay. And so it has the ability to operate for a certain amount of time on solar. Yeah. So if you have it exposed, it could s function for a certain amount of time on solar. Yeah, well, you know... Um like there's the self-winding watches where yeah. you know it's just got a weight in the watch, and as you move your wrist, the, w the weight moves from one side to the other, and, and it it, w it winds the watch up. That's a pretty cool thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. it's amazing that like Rolex is that it's all done mechanically. There's yeah. no batteries in there. There's no nothing. Yeah, you could do the same thing. Create a little charger that's based on uh, wrist movement. But it really depends on how much energy your watch uses. You know what's fucked up about that though? We accept a certain amount of like fuckery with those watches. Like, I brought my watch. I have a Rolex that uh, my friend Lorenzo gave me, and I brought it to um, the watch store, and uh, I said, this thing's always fast. I said, it's always, like, after a couple months, it's, like, five minutes fast. And they <laughs> go, yep. They go, yeah. Really? It's just what it does. Okay. And I go, hold on. I go, so you're telling me that it just is always going to be fast? They's like, yeah. It's just, like, every few months, you got to, like, reset it. it. Seems like they should recalibrate that thing. They can't. They tried. They say every few months, whether it's four months or five months or six months, it's going to be a couple of minutes fast. Okay, it seems like they should really uh, recalibrate that because you if it's always fast, you can just right. de you know delete those minutes. You need to fucking kick down the door at Rolex <laughs> and go, you bitches are lazy. 